Well, Cal Poly students will be in the national spotlight to kick off 2021, featured in a TV special by the Tournament of Roses in place of the New Year's Day Parade. KSBY's Christina Favuzzi talks with the float team's president about this year's unusual process. A Mustang tradition, 73 years in a row. It's been a really big part of my college experience. Senior Madison Tony joined the Cal Poly Rose Float program as a freshman, now serving as team president. It's taught me so much about myself, but also like how to work with others on such a large project, especially like when half the team is hundreds of miles away. 60 students from the Cal Poly campuses in San Luis Obispo and Pomona teamed up in January to create a spectacular float. When March hit, we didn't really know what to expect with the parade, and so we just kept chugging along. But with COVID cases surging over summer, the Tournament of Roses canceled the iconic Pasadena parade, halting the Cal Poly team's plans. Uh, practically everything before you would start building is what we are able to complete. But their efforts won't go unnoticed. The team will be featured in a two hour TV special New Year's Day morning. It was amazing that Tournament of Roses thought of us after the parade canceled. It was amazing to think that they wanted us to be a part of this very strange, but like hopefully like fun, different experience. Viewers will learn about the year long student run process of designing, building and decorating the float. And while next year remains uncertain, Tony and the team are optimistic their float will eventually roll down Colorado Boulevard. There's a lot of great creative minds and I think they will do well next year and hopefully pick up right where we left off and produce another amazing float. Christina Favuzzi, KSBY News.